However, we have these late game one on ones, 2v2s two in the side lanes because elements are going to do 1 3 1, like we saw yesterday with the Ari from Froggen. And now Shu can just be very mobile and be part of these fights. All the maps also start the dragon. Shook is there as well. So all Obo has to do now is just not go back to his tower because then he's going to die. Yeah, he's in a little trouble. That tower is pretty low. He's oh, realize he's out. in a trap. He's got the flash, immediately uses it. Zenith Blade on. Shook is there as well, connecting with the Sonic Wave Resonating Strike. Overpow, still alive. The flash Overpow. from Shook, and that's first blood. Not sure why he went that way, as you're right, but. Rocket will secure the dragon as he bought enough time for that to happen. Yeah. Able to burst this one down pretty quickly and no reaction actually from Rocket. They're pinging it, but they're not keen on going in. And this is going to get given up to elements one to one in dragons at 13 and a half. Yeah, now Rocket is actually moving in. It's way too late for them. Also giving it up. Or no, actually coming back to try and do it. Oh, they're going to try. Oh, wait a minute. They found Vander and they blow him up. Nif with the kill credit on that one. One, two, three. Froggen looking for some more as Yanko's tunnels away from quite a bit. This will be. A completely free Drake over to Elements. Rocket will never be able to fight if they don't get it to set up a few walls beforehand because then they have to face check into the engage from Elements and suddenly you have a perfect... Will keep him from any harm whatsoever as the rest of Elements converge on this bottom tower. How Again. good is the anti-siege Froggen coming in trying to pick two targets at once? He does make a pretty good job of it. Overpower pretty low as Wicked comes in but he's overextended in this one. They've defended them. Super Mega Whoa, Death Rocket just barely does not kill Wicked and now Rocket in hot... Pursuit, they're gonna find him, and there we go, Overpow. That's some much needed gold for the Rocket top laner, and they're still chasing. This could be the closing of a trap. Nuke Duck actually dashes his way forward. The Dragon going very low, and they might have peeled him off it. Here we go, Equalizer thrown down. Shook and Wicked in panic mode. Froggen is gonna take Overpow. The Dragon goes down, but it's picked up by Wolite with a Rocket. They're able to do even more. Yankos, though, in some trouble. He goes down, it's a two for a Drake. And Rocket pick up their second kill with the Dragon, but got two kills for it at least. Yeah, so your Rocket's gonna try to make a play here. Wicked is gonna get chained up, and they probably have the damage Whoa, for him. The Rocket does not go where they want, but Nuke Duck will get the kill. This is right by Baron, and are they confident enough to start it? It looks like they are. This has gotta prompt Elements to do something, but they are backing away. There we go, there's the cancel of the backs, but it's still a very dangerous situation. Baron is still a difficult task, even as easier as it's been in this patch. Woolite, the rest of them trying to zone off. Shook could get in here for the smite fight, but the trap behind the pit. Woolite, he's gonna get chunked down so fast. Reckless blows him up. They left him alone, and Vander, too long. The Baron is secured, but at what cost? Overpow, no friends around, and there's a double kill. Nuke Duck now in some trouble. He gets popped down. What Baron? That's a triple kill for Reckless, and they clear the board of Team Rocket. Desperation moves here by Rocket. You get one kill onto Wicked, 27 minutes in, and you go straight for the Baron. Wulad was caught in an impossible position. He was standing outside the Baron trying to kill it. And that was just too easy again for Elements to engage onto him. No protection, no way for him to actually avoid it. He's locked up for just a moment. Vander will give the life-saving Lantern and they're looking to try to return it. The Equalizer's there. Vander flash forward. He's going to get shook on a line and they've caught him. But wait a minute, Wulad is going to get that one kill. Wicked still in trouble here as he backs away. Elements thought they might be able to read. Saw the 50% tower damage as well from the second dragon in action for them and they've now been pushing over these lanes. But they're so far ahead right now and Wicked, despite being... Yeah, as soon as it responds, Elements is on this one really quickly. But Nuketuck trying to duel it out with Frog Whoa. and he wins! If you blinked, you missed it. One-on-one -on -one kill, save it. It's going to work too well for them, too easy for Elements just to disengage. Them. Slowly chipping away at this one. It looks like it's just a matter of time, but Elements can't quite find the end to finish it off the way they oh, need it. They've actually got the lockdown. There we go. A whole lot of damage with the Equalizer. They found Wicked actually focusing him out as he flashes away. Vander with the hook and the Super Mega Death Rocket. Spells Doom, but wait, what's this? They're going in for round number two. Nif, it's a double kill for Wallet. They're looking for more. Somehow, somewhere, Rocket have flipped the on switch. Although Froggen finds Overpower, it's still a two for one. Yankos, Charm Top has blown up. Reckless, two for two. Nuke Duck. Looking for more, another shutdown. That's Woolite. He gets another double. Unofficial quadra there. Froggen is gonna go down. And there's the ace for Team Rocket. And again here, Rocket staying in their own base. Elements can't really find an opening to engage onto Woolite. And instead, Nuke Dog actually setting it up. He got a lot of damage onto Wicked. Then Equalizer happened, and the fight was on. Woolite was left in the back lane. Elements couldn't pan punish him. Punish him? Punish him, yeah. Well, punish him either.
Yeah, exactly. Couldn't do anything. They couldn't really do anything at all. And Woolite, it doesn't matter how subdued he was early on. When you get a Jinx going, you get a Jinx going. Five and one, not yet spent that gold. But look at how fast this Baron is going down. Rocket should be able to take it. They've also got minions pushing on the bottom side. This is going to be a close call. Void Rush to try and hold off Nif, and they're just going to back away from it. So Baron secured. Start poking these down incredibly quickly. Element's not going to contest this. So now, even on Dragons, and they push in. You're gonna force Element then to make a move. They engage on you in the middle, like they're trying to do now. Onto oh, Woolite. they certainly are. Woolite, he's in some trouble. They got the Zeus. Oh, can he they make it the to lantern. safety? Yes, he can, but Overpow has sacrificed himself. They're gonna pick Niff here, but Froggen, he's not gonna connect the charm. Quite a lot of damage. Reckless is gonna get Overpow, and Woolite goes down, split up, and taken out. Divide and conquer is the Element strategy, and they pick three for none. Yeah, so Rocket here, while they're sending Nuke Dog and Yangos to push the bottom lane, they stayed in the mid. With Woolite, with that, there was no flash for Woolite in the fight, and then Elements just get the right engage, easy for them to clean it up. One mistake in the late game by Rocket, and now they might have lost the game. Yeah, Nuketok already just chunked down quite heavily there, and it's such a long death timer for all of these three dead members of Rocket. Elements still getting pushed off by the lasers of the turrets. They don't quite have the waves, but resources are on the way, and they're still threatening. Wicked is going to teleport in on a minion once he actually goes back to base. Oh, like, Yankos, oh they're, they're going to try it! Nuke Dog picks up Nif, but that's not the target they needed. Yankos now in some trouble. Do they follow through with the Lee Sin? No, I don't think so. Fans to save it. They're actually going to let Reckless take this one solo, but they're going to be for just a few moments without the carry. This is actually very, very smart. Yeah. They pick up that fourth very, dragon, very nice. and they don't lose any edge. And it's going to be revealed right now. The rest of the team the is there. They land a Massive Leona ultimate, but they're actually not going to follow up on it. The Baron's being started again, and they're being forced away. Can Shook get in for the smite steal? They're looking for an assassination. They find Woolite. He's chunked low, but he's he's alive. alive. He's in the back. Collateral damage. They don't have enough to the finish Baron anybody. Well. The Baron is actually resetting. Woolite picking up Nif. Wicked extremely low. They found Vander, and they scatter support for support. But will it be Elements trying to take Elements? And this could be the fourth one for them, but Shook is still threatening. Dragon very low now. And they just can't get in here to do enough. Dragon has reset, though. Yeah, Rocket doesn't want to risk any smite steal from Shook, so they're... They, they, they got secure it. it. Yep, they got that it. was picked up by Woolite. Brilliant effort now. 4-4 four to four in Dragon's Wicked going to try to... ...to his full late game status quite a while ago, and once again... This is a risky Baron that here. Is because Yankos Yankos is there. there, but they it's going to go down. No vision. It's going to be oh, Yankos, Yankos going there. over. He's going to look for the smite steal a little bit early. He does Shook not get it. it. Shook picks that one up, and Yankos bails out. And Elements managed to grab it's down as well. A little cheeky there from Elements as they Thanks, build up cannon. a bigger wave with the cannon. It's already at half health. Nuke Duck forced to use his Zanya's Hourglass. Still a lot of damage. Yeah, they don't have the threat here, and the Equalizer was thrown down, making them think twice. And it's so low, but they should be able to finish it off. They have the damage. There we go. But will they make it out alive? Jankos is going to go in. Vander, Flash Hook, they find Wicked. However, the Leona, Overpow, so low. Zanya's is on, but he won't live for long. Actually, I was completely wrong. Never mind. Reckless is going to take him down. And that is one for none so far. Vander not going to connect on the hook. They get the inhib to a turtle next season. Turtle they're going to start shoving this one in. So much oh, damage. Yankos, Yankos, they're going to try to make the effort. They cut Frog in, though. He's got his Zanyas on as well. And the rest of the team is backing up. They didn't time the skill shots. They catch Nip as well. Nuke Duck's going to blow him up, but the tower is down. Can Elements keep this up? The answer is no. They're still chasing. Chillix might down onto Wicked. Yeah, oh, oh, they get it, Wicked. So low, but Nuke Duck doesn't connect on the chains. Big they look for Shook as well. Froggen tries to find the damage. Woolite, half of his health is gone after the charm. They're still looking for Shook. Can they get him down? The rockets are flying. Team Rocket is flying forward. Shook kicks them back. No, thank you. There's the denial. They still are on the hunt, and Nuke Duck comes up with the kill. Wicked now chased back, but they, there's nobody there to try to contest it. They've got the damage, and they go Super Saiyan. They've got some time yeah. in the books, Deficio. And you go back now. You defend it. Look at those rockets just chunking now. How much damage they're able to do. Dodging the charm there. Frog trying to get in. That one is going down Another to the inhibitor. They traded. It's in the middle. This one, you still have the buff from the dragon. Oh, they're going to look oh, for Frog 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 Frog
my goodness, so much damage. Reckless is able to pick him up, and Rockat are in hot retreat. Rockat have their eyes set on the base, Remember, and there's no reaction. Tower's going down. Faster recalls once you have the Baron killed. But they don't have it yet. Elements, but they don't have it yet. No oh, inhibitors they're actually gone. backing away here. So they do trade it, but it's still two inhibitors close by each other. Rockat get out. They're able to make that. I think for this to pay off, they need that inhibitor down. Yeah, they're getting chunked. There's the equalizer. They're actually going to bail out of this one. Froggen is caught a little bit farther behind. Do they have the chunk for him? Big Nar comes out. Wait a minute. Overpow just gets exploded and wicked in the back, causing some havoc. Here they go. This could oh, be the end of it. A double kill to Reckless. Rocket is blasting off again. And that looks like it's going to be Elements. Only Nuke Duck is there to defend this. Inhibitor goes down. And when all looks lost, Elements coming up ahead. Nuke Duck getting blown up. Froggen with the ace. Inhibitor. Nexus going down, 64 minutes in. Elements take all the way back to the base. And what a game of objectives and buffs here. All about the Baron buff, all about the fifth dragon for the last 20 minutes. So close. It was ridiculous how many times that one went back and forth. And at that moment, the last ditch effort, they pass 100,000 gold in that game. Gold didn't even matter at that point. They go ahead and manage to wipe out Team Rocket. Smiles, but a hint of doubt there for Elements. They had such a hard time finishing this yeah. game off. Very, very tough game. And for Rocket here, I mean, you play Fnatic yesterday. You face Elements today. Same kind of game, actually. You go full late game. You have your AD carry as the hyper carry. And you come back in the game, you're so close, and yet you end up losing the last team fight and you lose the game for them. There were some very, very good plays here, some good calls, a lot of focus again on the mini waves, how they were pushing. But in the end, the trade where Element said, we want, we want to get the Baron buff, you're going to get inhibitor and we're going to take that last team fight with the Baron buff and we're going to win it. That was the game winning call for them. It paid off. I do believe in the very last team fight, actually, the Mega Nar or the ulti from Wicked. It was really well timed there. Yeah, it just managed to pull Willard, who actually had flashed away back into the team and he ended up dying for exactly. it. Exactly. It looks like Rocket actually was going to take that for just a moment. They caught Froggen, but again, it got turned around. The timing of the Nar, everything went Elements' way at the end of that one, and there was just no stopping it. It's such a late game. And Rocket, you got to think, they're one in three on this record, but they've had such a tough series of opponents yeah. in a row. It's pretty admirable how close these things have been. It could have easily been them at 3-1. and one. It could. I mean, again, they've had two very, very close games against Elements and Fnatic, two of the top.